Hi Tokenauts, Alan here. In this short video, I'll be going over a couple of the ways you can interact with your token wallet smart contract using popular tools such as Etherscan and Metamask. The powerful thing about this is that it really reflects our commitment to a decentralized aspect of what we're building here at Token. That we're a means to store and access your funds, but if we were ever to go away, you'd still be able to access and interact with your wallet just the same. So we're really excited to run you through this. To get started, all you need is access to the internet and your phone with a token card app handy. So you can see here on the right hand side, I've got my wallet set up. I've got a bit of ETH in there, I've got some ETH in the gas tank, and I've got my wallet address here. Now you can see this is all on Robston, this is all on Testnet, which won't really matter too much in this video. And you can also see that if I click the more tab, that's the three dots in the bottom right hand corner, but I'm yet to do some core functions. That's whitelisted addresses, daily send limits, daily gas tank limits and the like. So what we're going to do today is interact with all of those things, not through the app, but through desktop. So I'm going to head left here to MetaMask. And what we're going to do is connect MetaMask to our token wallet. So we can do this a couple of ways. The easiest way for us is to import using account seed phrase. So I'm going to grab the seed phrase, which you can see on the right here on the backup seed. Just kind of grab that. Already got it on my clipboard, so I'll just paste it in here. I'm also going to blow it out because safety first. I'm going to set a new password and then restore my account. Now you can already see that I'm on the Robson test network, as you can see from the top right hand side of the screen. Now, if you go back, you'll also notice that the balance on my MetaMask wallet seems to be a bit lower than the smart contract wallet there on the right. Now, this is simply because they represent two things. MetaMask is pulling the gas tank, as you can see there, and not put money on both sides, whereas the wallet on the right is just the general smart contract overall. Now, without going into technical nuance, this is just so you're more protected in the case of exposure. The gas tank will be the only thing that's exposed. Anywho, let's get started with MetaMask. So I'm going to give this a fun name, just so we know what it is. I'll put that as token card number one. And that's now there for me to make use of. So let's head from MetaMask to Etherscan so we can actually write and make edits to the contract that are reflected in the app. So let's head to Etherscan here. You can see I'm on a Robston instance of Etherscan, and this is my contract being displayed here. You can see that represented also on the right hand side. There you go, 0x6 and 0x6 on there too. So, exploring this, you can see the smart contract source code. That's us. There you go. You can scroll through it in your own time because it's quite long. But for the important thing today is I'm going to make use of the right contract feature. Now this is where it gets really interesting. This is where I can make changes to my smart contract on either scan, which are reflected in the app. So the first thing I'm going to do is transfer some funds from my wallet here to another wallet that I've also created earlier. So first things first, I'm going to connect with MetaMask. This basically allows me to write or authorize or sign uh, edits to the contract, just so we know it's me doing it. Obviously, not anyone could go into your account and edit. That would be a bit unsafe. So I'm going to sit here. I want to set my address that I'm sending to as 0x7, which is another account I own. The asset here, I'm going to do if. And the amount I'm going to do is just a little bit, let's say 0.8 if. Now, the important thing here is that when you're doing stuff on if scan, to put the denominations in way. That's why it's an 18 digit character. Way so you know is a smallest denomination of ether. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm sending it to another account I made in ETH, and that'll be 0.8 ETH. Now I'm going to write this contract. What you'll see here is a MetaMask notification saying do you want to reject or confirm with some details on the gas that'll be used. I'll go ahead and click confirm. There you go, I can now view my transaction. Now if I click view, it will say pending, pending, with some other info there. What I'll do is I'll give that a moment to complete. 
Normally at this case, you'd end up seeing a MetaMask notification letting you know it's done. Okay, fast forwarding, you can see now that I have sent 0.8 Ether to another account. Now the cool thing is, if I look over to my app on the right and I refresh that, see there? It says I've sent 0.8 ETH, which is pretty cool. So there you go. I've used MetaMask, Etherscan, and my app. You can also do some slightly more um, complex edits to the contract. So let's say, before I mentioned, I haven't set a daily gas tank limit. So I want to do that now. And I'm going to do that through the same right contract section. Now I'm going to look for initialize top up limit. That's here. And in this case, I want to top it up with 0.3 ETH. So I'm going to go there. I'm going to enter that again. That's in weight. So that's 18 digits. What I haven't done here is connected with MetaMask, so I can't sign it. So let me just do that again. Go back down. It's still there. So I've initialized top up limit here. Right. And I click right. Again, it'll say confirm or deny. I'm going to confirm that. And I can view my transaction here again. So that'll be pending. Okay, fast forward into the future. That's a success. I took about a minute, just under to process. So you can see here, if I go back to my transactions. That's happened there too. Now the great thing is, you can see here before, it said I hadn't set a day limit. If I go to transactions and refresh, you can see my gas tank limit has been set. And that's also reflected here. You can see the daily gas tank limit has a tick against it there, which means now I've set a limit so that if anyone were to grab a hold of my phone or if my wallet were to be compromised, they'd have a limit of 0.3 ETH a day to send. So that's it. That's a couple of the ways you can interact with your token wallet using Rothson and MetaMask. So if you're not already testing a token wallet and want to get started, check out our Twitter to register interest. And if you are testing it already, download MetaMask extension on Chrome, head to EtherScan and start playing around. We'd love to see what you can do with it. Happy hunting. Thanks.